So in my view, each one of you who are listening to the teachers who just say, stand there and let every thought come and go. Don't go to any thought. Just see that you're not the awareness. You all are coming into a massive bypass if you're anger repressors. Also sadness repressors, all of you, but especially anger repressors because you can't speak up. You know, I'd be asking questions about that. If you're being instructed to see, first of all, that the thoughts are not you, you have to remember all those thoughts are connected in some way to the body. Many of them are connected to repression and repression is hidden in the body. And many of the repression, much of the repression and trauma programming is hidden in the body and is not arising to awareness. So by literally engaging in that practice, you're bypassing. The practice just says, let every thought come and go. Practices that are devoid of skill in the inner body to conjure up the trauma and repression producing all of that. That's just, I'm just telling you, this is how I feel. I know it'll piss somebody off, but if you're engaged in that kind of practice, you're engaged in a bypass. You don't know it. And the reason that I'm saying it now is because we're the last to know. And if you look at the teachers, the teachers, all the scandals and the illness, it's all over the place. That is not a coincidence. That's a result of the practices that we're doing that are not reaching trauma and repression, in my view. What you see in the teachers is just a small part of it. It's going on in a massive way. How do I know this? Because unlike other teachers, I didn't do mostly groups. I did one-on-one. -on -one. About 14,000 sessions through the years. People in all different cultures. And everybody that I noticed that was following that had issues later on in terms of unprocessed stuff, creating addiction, disease, chronic pain, continued suffering of some kind, all coming from that way of talking, the kind of the standard non-tool thing that isn't embodied. Massive issues, guys, just all over the place that you can't see because you're not working with people like I am, so I'm just here to report it to you. This is a really, huge issue what's happening but so when you see me with a lot of energy it doesn't matter whether I piss you off at this point it has to happen because you're just sitting there a lot of you in anger repression not recognizing that you're bearing the anger through these practices and that it's okay if I piss you off because what could happen is that somehow you hear something and you don't have to get sick like I did because that's what this stuff does is it it so it gives a false confidence because we're further bearing emotions through those kinds of practices. And I just mean the ones that are just not, the ones that are telling you to stand as awareness and let everything come and go. You can't let everything come and go that isn't arising. It's just not even real, guys. It's not even anywhere on the radar of reality to say that trauma and repression, you're just gonna see it come and go and come and go. There's no science that supports that. There are no trauma researchers that say that, that you can just sit and be conscious of all your trauma and just resolve it. The whole thing is buried and it's the root of a lot of suffering. So we're literally in a place of like, we're fucking doing things wrong. Actually in spirituality, a lot of us are doing things in a way that's actually going to create problems for us later. But we can't see it now because we're in repression. If you're in repression, you can't see this. Your whole system is designed not to feel that emotion, so it cannot see this. It will actually try to avoid that emotion. It will be drawn to teachings that have you not going to that, and then that, which is not dealt with, is the thing that the teachers, the scandals, the pain, the disease, and all those people that I talked to you about, they too ignored this. I ignored this. The reason I have some energy on it is I saw a teacher give this instruction to somebody who was definitely dealing with trauma and you could feel it in their system, like their nervous system was just hijacked by it. And the teacher was just saying, be there with every thought. You all, when we're in a trauma response, we're frozen. The thoughts aren't even arising. That person was in a trauma response. There's nothing to witness. Even if it was, the repression is totally shut down in that moment. You could actually hurt somebody in that way because see the trauma that's wrecking that person's body, a lot of it is unconscious. So if you have a person just stand as awareness, you're actually encouraging them not to make 
some buried thoughts conscious. You're encouraging them not to bring that into awareness, to be with it. The programs that are creating the turbulence. It's dangerous. It sets up a habit in people where they don't make making repression conscious a priority. So they just do these practices, which are just surfacey. See, there these, a lot of these practices are happening like above the repression and trauma because the repression and trauma is creating a lot of that stuff. So we're just witnessing the stuff that gets created. See that? It's like surfacey on it. The, so then we can have a very big perceptual shift. How can we have that if it's surfacey? Because we are repressing. See, when we repress something, it's like we don't have it. And so we can have like a false awakening or a non-embodied awakening by simply, we didn't even go to that area. But this is where the false confidence is because there's definitely a lot of teachers who fell into that hole and then later on got sick or had the scandal or something. They don't know what happened. Many of them are not connecting it. I connected it when I got sick, I connected it to the repression that was missed in these kinds of practices. That's how KI came about. My whole question to you is, do you see it yet? Send this to your friends who are in that sort of strict non-dual seeing, you know, let it upset them, let them disagree with me, because at least then they're paying attention to the issue. Even if they're disagreeing with it, at least now they know that it's out there and they have to, you know, contend with that. If you send it to your friends, I'll just talk to them right directly right now. If you're in a non-dual investigation where someone is telling you just to see thoughts coming and going and that you're the awareness, and they're not connecting that to the inner body in which there's unconscious programming producing all of that, you are in a bypass right now. You are right now in a bypass. You might not think it's a big deal, but later on it's going to be a huge deal when you get diagnosed with this particular disease or this chronic pain or some aspect of suffering returns or remains because you missed a bunch of stuff. You cannot awaken fully and ignore the body. We, you, we used to think you could do that. Nobody really can think that now because of what we know about the trauma held in the body. So any, any spiritual practice, as far as I'm concerned, that isn't taking us to the inner body where the source of the suffering is, is a bypass. So anything that's just witnessing thoughts, anything that's just concerned with the awareness in which everything is happening, because that can be a bypass where we literally avoid the unconscious programming in the body. Or any netty netty thing that is not deeply connected to the inner body, all of that is a bypass. Even KI can be a bypass. If people come in here and they don't deal with the repression driving everything. So in other words, if they stay surfacey, like just questioning identity, not seeing that identity is connected to repression, you can bypass anywhere. Remember, anger repressors have a handicap, a disability here, in a sense like you cannot help yourself because of the repression. Helping yourself is as simple as going, teacher, I realize that I can't trust my experience yet. I have repression. I'm trusting you. You're telling me something that doesn't feel right. It's telling me something that is not getting to my repression, and I think I know that repression is behind all suffering. Stop or tell me what you're doing here. See, a lot of you can't even ask that question. Or just, teacher, you're too nice. You see what I mean? You're too nice. You're giving them the benefit of the doubt. You don't have to be mean, but be direct and ask the question, is what you're doing with me a bypass? It feels like a bypass. You see how anger repressors are going to have trouble with that? And then therefore, you're going to get stuck. You could very easily get stuck in this non-dual thing, not asking questions early, not getting those answers, and not adjusting your path. And then this anger repression, which kept you from asking questions, becomes the source of your disease later. It's really important now, in the beginning of the path, to work with repression. That's our inside-out path. If you're interested in that, watch my videos from the video KI, introduction, KI map, introduction and overview in every video after. I'm laying out a path for the awakening that is not avoidant, a 
of repression and trauma.